Yo, what's good? Welcome back. If you don't know me, my name's Lario. Thank you for watching this video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you the most underrated plugin in FL Studio. Probably one of the most underrated plugins I've ever seen in my life. And it's something not too many people are talking about. It's called Patcher. Patcher is a plugin that you can use as a VST plugin and as a mixing plugin. And I can show you the two different ways to do it and the pretty much endless possibilities that it has. So opening up Patcher as a VST plugin here in the channel rack, the biggest, most underrated part of this plugin is the presets that it has i could save the really complex stuff for another video if you'd like let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to get into that stuff i can i can show you the more complex stuff but for right now i want to show you the most underrated features in the most underrated plugin you have all of these different presets right here i'm going to show you my favorite presets in here and then you can go for yourself and, and check it out the first one that i really like is this one called midivore a lot of stuff in here, so it gets complex. And I can show you how complex it gets by hitting the map tab. Now you can see all of these plugins. So what Patcher is, and this is why it took a bit to open up. And my computer's fast too, by the way, so that took a bit to open up. You can see how complex this can get. It's all different plugins that are all routed and patched into one another. So you have tons and tons of different plugins that create this one sound. So let's go back into controls. And what makes this plugin so awesome is that you can choose any one of these types of scales here. Let's just go with maybe harmonic minor. And then you can choose any key you'd like in here. Different octaves. So C here is probably a higher C here. And so on and so on. Let's go to A sharp minor real quick. Make sure that we have typing to keyboard on. And on your keyboard, your typing keyboard, start hitting some notes. And you're going to notice real quick... It's only going to play notes that are in that scale. And then you have these different instruments that are layered in. So if you don't want strings, just turn it off. Now you have piano by itself. Or you can choose just Rhodes or just guitar. Or just strings. Awesome plugin. You can transpose it easily here. Full octave is 12, by the way. You can also add more compression to that sound. And you could really just get creative with this. It's really going to help you, especially if you don't know music theory. It's going to ensure that you don't hit any wrong notes that are in this, that are not in that scale of A sharp melodic minor and so on. So whatever you choose in here, on your typing keyboard, mind you, so make sure that you're on your typing keyboard, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hit a wrong note. You're gonna, you might hit notes that don't sound good together, but you're not gonna hit a note that's not in that scale, if that makes sense. So let's keep it rolling with some more of these presets. Let's go to drum bass, another one of my favorites. Now, if you're looking to get into some sound design, this is really like a cheat code right here, and it can help you understand and give you a little bit of a head start into sound design. A whole bunch of different plugins that can help you create your own kicks and bass drums. So real quick, I wanna talk about a couple of different ways you can promote your music with DistroKid. Once your music is out and live, you can go to this goodie section. You can scroll down here to go to promo cards. You could choose the release, generate promo cards. Now you can see here, you have fully generated promo cards for Instagram stories, for Snapchat stories, TikTok, etc. You can pick and choose any one of these for your release, quickly download them and start promoting your music. Another one is mini videos. You can see all these different types of templates you have here. You could put your album art in the middle. You could choose a song, generate mini video. As you can see, a nice video fit for Instagram stories, Instagram reels, TikToks, etc. Now I'll top back into the video. You're started out with this sound right here. Very basic sound. You can change the octave. Add some effects, utilities. You can change the shape of the amp anatomy. Filter body and pitch model. You can add sub.
and you can change the length of the kick sample. So no matter how long I hold it out, it's getting shorter. Turn fat. You can detune it. You got a cutoff. Now I want to show you another one of my favorites in here. We have one called Vocatcher. This is a stock vocal synth. So you can hear. And you can alter it and make it your own by messing around with these different effects. You have chorus, you have a doubler, you have formant, which is awesome for pitch. Listen to what it does. And I believe that you could also like automate these knobs too. Some vibrato. Awesome. Reverb. This is another one of my favorites over here. Where is it? It is Yoda Saw. Yoda Saw is pretty much, I think, the best one in my opinion in here. So you can play chords. What this does is that you can play chords with one key on your typing keyboard. So you just set your key. Let's do D sharp. And then you have all these different kinds of settings and effects, right? We're playing an actual chord. Just by hitting one key. So as you can see, there's a bunch of other plugin presets inside of Patcher that you can choose. You can go mess around with, but I'll leave it up to you. Mess around with those. Also, this is the VST version of Patcher. There is a mixer version of Patcher that has a whole bunch of different presets and a whole bunch of different plugins that were made by this company, Wise Labs. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.